NASA's first test mission of a project to send humans back to the moon has been postponed. The agency is planning to make history when it goes back to the lunar surface in 2025 by setting up a base there and sending the first female and first non-white astronaut. Today's launch had been to make sure that the rocket system worked as it should, but fuel leaks have prompted a delay. Let's go straight to Cape Canaveral and talk to Sky's David Blevins, who is there. David, what happened? Well, it's not the day we were hoping for, Kimberly. Let me tell you how close they came. The vice president, Kamala Harris, had arrived at the Kennedy uh, Space Center here at Cape Canaveral on the Florida coast, hoping to witness a moment of history. But she, like the rest of us, is going to have to wait a little longer. We knew from early morning they were dealing with a hydrogen fuel leak the second in two days. Then things got worse when they reported a conditioning problem in engine three of the powerful space launch system. So ultimately they had to stop the clock at launch pad 39B and they will miss this window and will try again probably on Friday. But despite all of the ambition around this project, ultimately safety has to come first. It is a historic pr uh, program, the Artemis program. They're not just planning to return humans to the moon, but to uh, put the first woman and person of colour there, also to build a permanent base from which they might one day put humans on Mars. So it is a really ambitious program. People thought this would be the day they would see it launched, but they're going to have to wait a little bit longer.